Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I create my resin wall or dam in order to create a thicker resin pour. The materials you're going to need for this are your wood panel. Um, I do not suggest using a canvas for this. Scissors and the aluminum foil or metal siding tape as it's sometimes called. Here's the tape that I use. It's by 3M and I found it at Lowe's. I'm sure you could find it at Home Depot, your local hardware store, or Amazon. Before we get started, I just want to explain what we're going to be doing with a smaller piece of tape. As you can see, this tape has a lining on one side that you have to peel off in order to expose the sticky part. Be careful when you're doing this part because we want to keep this tape as smooth and clean as we can and it's pretty sticky. Once the lining of the tape is peeled off, what we're going to be doing is folding the tape down so it's just around half sticky, half non-sticky. We're doing this so that we can take the bottom sticky part and apply it to the wood panel just where the non-sticky part starts. All right, so let's do this on a bigger piece of tape now. I'm going to be doing this with two pieces of tape so that I can show you guys how to connect them. When peeling the lining off the tape, I highly suggest placing it down on your work surface and slowly peeling it back so that it remains nice and smooth. Now take your thumbs to the edges of the tape where you want to fold the tape down and slowly and carefully start to curl the tape around without having the sticky parts touch. It's important not to fold the tape down too far because we want the sticky part to be able to hold on to the sides of the wood panel when we pour the resin in. Otherwise, the tape will not be able to withhold the weight of the resin and it'll be a big mess. Okay, so what I usually do is take my finger and press down in the middle of the tape and then carefully smooth out each side with my thumb or my finger. And you wanna be careful when you're doing this because this tape can rip easily and you don't wanna create any holes. Once the tape's all the way down, I'll sometimes take my thumb and smooth out some of the wrinkles. Okay, so now we're ready to apply the tape to the sides of the wood panel. And when doing this, I highly suggest making sure there's enough tape to cover around the corner or corners because when we're using multiple pieces of tape, it's really hard to connect them at a corner. When applying the tape to the sides of the panel, you want to try and line it up as best as you can so that the sticky part is touching the side of the panel and the non-sticky part of the tape starts at the surface of the wood panel. If some of the sticky part of the tape is above the surface of the panel, that's fine. You just might have to work a little bit harder when taking the tape off after the resin's cured. Once you have your tape lined up, run your finger along the sides to make sure that it's securely on there and no resin seeps through. For the corners, I like to use my work surface, so I'll turn the wood panel on its side. Um, this helps create a clean 90 degree angle and we're gonna do the same thing as before and line up the tape. If you look closely here at this corner, you can tell that it's not quite 90 degrees. There's a little bit of a bend in it. Um, I'm a little bit OCD, mainly because I don't like sanding after I take the tape off. So I really try and get it as close to 90 degrees as I can. A good tip for solving this problem is finding something that has a 90 degree angle and that's smaller than the wood panel. So you're able to insert it and use it as a mold to reshape the corner. I like using a sanding block. Um, it's soft and it's never larger than the wood panel that I'm using. 
Okay, so on to the second piece. We are going to be doing the exact same thing we did to the first piece of tape. When attaching the two pieces together, you're gonna to wanna to overlap them a little bit and do like we did before, line them up, sticky side on the sides of the wood panel. Non-sticky side should be starting at the surface of the wood panel. Now that both pieces are attached to the panel, we need to seal off where they overlap. For this, you want to cut off two small pieces of tape, peel off the lining on the back, and then instead of folding it down like we did the previous pieces, just take the sticky side, find where the two pieces of tape overlap on the wood panel, and as close as you can, line it up with the surface of the wood panel, then fold it over. This will seal off the gap between the two pieces of tape and prevent the resin from spilling out. Once that's done, I like to go around the sides of the wood panel again with my finger and just make sure that the tape is securely pressed against the sides, just so you know that no resin will seep down. After you poured your resin and it's cured, you can just kind of pick a spot and tear it down and slowly pull around the wood panel sides. Um, and sometimes you get, like you see here, a little spot that sticks. That's actually where we attach the two pieces of tape. And that's fine. Usually you can take your fingernail and scrape it off, or sometimes it takes a sanding block. But for the most part, you should have a clean, sharp edge and minimal sanding. All right, that's about it. If you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out. And uh, thanks for watching.